Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, out on another walk. And this time I'm, well, I'm looking for a tree, but not any ordinary kind of tree. I'm looking for a very old tree. In fact, I'm looking for the third oldest Cecil Oak in England. I'm on the Cowdery Park estate at the moment. I'm down by Bembo Pond, which is this rather nice lake here in front of me with a lot of uh, wildlife around me. And I'm going to take a walk that away to see if I can find this tree. I happen to have come out on a particularly horrible day. It's uh, a bit grim, the weather, but it's quiet, which is really what I'm interested in. We've got down here what looks like some geese but anyway, we're heading up this way. I'm just off the A272 between Patworth and Midhurst, the Cowdery Estate is quite a large part of the area here. You've got Cowdery House uh, behind me, um, about, I suppose, a mile away actually. It is a very interesting um, park, this. I've never actually been here before, but there are um, quite a lot of old and ancient trees along this path. Now I can kind of just about see um, where I've got to go. I can see the tree in the far distance so I've got to make a bit of a circuitous route to get to it. It's um, a good time to come out um, looking for trees I think at the beginning of this sort of season um, mainly because you can start to study the trees and I'm trying this year to really learn about trees and work out which, <laughs> which tree is which, do some identification because the thing about the trees at this time is in January when I'm filming they're all coming out in, um, in buds. You think of them as being completely empty and devoid of life but actually they've had a bit of a rest and it's all going on inside. The buds are getting ready, the leaves are all scrunched up, I suppose, inside that bud, and they're all getting ready for the spring when they'll burst into life. Here, look, some old leaves still clinging on from last year. Fortunately, there's some blue sky coming out now. And in the distance, I don't know how much you'll be able to see from here, but that is the, the tree. There's a tiny little tree. It looks tiny from here, but it's actually quite huge. And that's what I'm off to see. It's very exciting. Meanwhile, of course, um, we've had a lot of rain in January and uh, all of this is all a bit wet and muddy and slippery as has been many of my walks recently. But um, actually, you'll notice I'm, I'm only in a jumper. It's not that cold. It looks like here they also have a couple of pretty ancient looking London planes. Two there on my left and then on the right here, another two uh, London planes. You can recognise them from their bark, of course. The object of my walk, and I'm just going to try and avoid going through a whole load of water, although I'm actually sloshing through it now, is just over there, and I'm getting close. It's called the Queen Elizabeth tree, and it's named after Queen Elizabeth I. Queen Elizabeth I is reputed to have visited the park and Oh golly, it is very wet here. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. I'm just going to have to go for it. And she apparently rested under the tree or sheltered under the tree with a, a bow and arrow in her hand, so the legend goes, while a stag was driven out in front of her with the aim that she would kill it. Well, Sadly, she missed, but the tree's been named in her honour anyway. So 
that was in something like 1591 some time ago now the tree is believed itself to be about 800 to a thousand years old which is incredible for a tree and we're approaching it now and I'm very excited so sometime perhaps in the 11th century it was originally I don't know whether it was planted or it just grew from a seed oaks uh, tend not to be planted it's coming up behind me is um, I think what's known as the stewards lake just over there there is actually a, a golf course over the hill that way but I'm not worried about golf at the moment let's have a look at this amazing tree I'm gonna to have to come back again in the spring and the summer to see it when it's in full leaf but here it is this is believed to be the third oldest Cecil Oak in the country how about that you can see that it's hollowed out in the middle and that is actually a narrow process you could get several people in there obviously they've fenced it up to prevent people from coming in but that is incredible look at the bark but that hollowing process is actually what happens as trees become older it is quite a staggering thing to look at it's a pollard tree that means that originally when it was a lot younger the uh, branches from the lower section were all chopped off and it was chopped off at the top about six feet as you can see here where these big branches are coming out from now to encourage growth above that six inch six foot point the reason for that is presumably there were deer here I don't know if Cowdery Park was ever a deer park but the idea was to stop deer from grazing on the shoots that were coming out because if you don't pollard a, a pasture tree as it would have been as opposed to a wood a tree in a wood it would have um, the, the deer and other the cattle and what have you would have eaten the young shoots and it would never have grown at all it is an amazing an amazing sight to behold and that's very much why I wanted to bring you here look at it just it is just staggering it is a staggering tree and it's been here for so long and uh, I have to say I'm absolutely thrilled to be standing here in its presence it's wonderful there are other elderly trees elderly magisterial trees that have been planted here at around about the same time I don't know if that's it but further to the north there is um, a, a, a very old chestnut tree there's a lot of chestnut um, trees grown here for coppicing and apparently there's one further up there which I'll go and have a quick gander and and have a look for but it's lovely lovely to have seen this amazing tree that Queen Elizabeth the first not the second but the first all those years ago just walking along up this avenue and you can see that they have planted some trees here to make an avenue which is going to be a fabulous avenue in I don't know what 50 80 years let's have a look inside protected as you can see but in a way it's it's like pollarding but I suppose it's not a, a pollard in the in the true sense although perhaps when they get a bit bigger they will pollard them it, they're going to be magnificent because you've got this this whole avenue of these trees spaced out which is going to be absolutely super and look it'll go back down to that old tree there what that whatever that is <laughs> um, it's going to be great I'm not sure that I'm going to find the chestnut tree that I'm after there's certainly a very old tree up here and I probably shouldn't go off the path but I'm just going to do it just to have a quick look at it looks like it has been chopped down a bit 
I'll just get up to that and have a look at it. And there we are. That'll be a, another video. They've got cattle in this field, but I can see the cow pats on the, on the ground. So maybe they're the things they're protecting those other trees from. Very stoutly protected, but a beautiful part of the world. Absolutely fascinating. And I'm thrilled to have made the journey up here to have a look. You can see this tree that's obviously fallen down perhaps partly in the winds as, as death perhaps in its final throes got it. This, who knows, maybe some life left in it, but hollowed out as you can see. Rotten by the looks of things, but absolutely amazing. I can't see any, any shoots coming from it. Although here, actually here, look at that, some buds. It looks to me that it was a beech tree. So there you go. If you want to look at some old trees, here is the place to come. Anyway, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for, for tuning in on the the Bald Explorer video. If there's places you think that uh, would be of interest that you'd like me to go and see, do get in touch and send me an email or send me a message and I'll see you on the next one. Till then, bye for now. <laughs>